what's up y'all welcome back or welcome to my channel so today we're going to be reviewing this amazon wig i was telling y'all about in my fall color hair dyeing video if you haven't seen that what are you doing go to my description right now and watch that but this is the wig from the company creasy hair 22 inches 613 lace frontal wig hair is really soft i didn't get any shedding running my fingers through it no tangling i still don't get tangling um only time i got shedding was after i had dyed it and blow dried it and all that but that was it but the construction we got three cones in the front comb in the back adjustable strap 13 by 4 lace front so as you can see i'm under my orders on amazon i really did get this wig off amazon right here you can see i purchased it with my money purchased one time you saw it right there 22 inches 613 here around 205 and we finna get on to the description what they say the hair is like and i'm gonna tell y'all what's really up so they say it's 100 percent unprocessed virgin human hair soft and bouncy with healthy grade aa brazilian body wave 613 lace front wig that's true hair advantage can be dyed bleached curled straightened and restyled as you like and can last a long time proper care that's true i did dye it and i bleached the knots and i curled it the curls did hold a long time it does hold a curl very well um it says it's soft and thick it ain't thick at all it's too thin for me it says 150 percent density that's too thin for me it still seemed thin for 150 like it just seemed too thin to me but if you like that then that's cool i wasn't really feeling it but i made it work it still looked good it's like a natural kind of density but it's too thin for me anyway it says the hair is absolutely smooth from the top to the ends no tangling no shedding it don't tangle it really don't tangle at all shedding i didn't get any shedding until i dyed it and blow dried it and it wasn't even that much i'll post a clip of how much shedding i got after i did that but it wasn't much at all so it really don't shed that much and then the next point they're just talking about the hair color 613 blonde which we already saw and then the last point the lace is 13 by 4 medium brown swiss lace 150 percent density like i said that was too thin for me but it's cool but that was really my only problem with this wig was the density it was just too thin for me and you kind of just stuck with the 150 they give you because you can't customize it you can't change the density on the wig that's just how it come but that was my only problem with this wig other than that it was bomb so now let's get into this install which y'all really here for so i already have my cap on and i have on knee highs actually queen size and nude i got that from walgreens they have other colors other sizes but i'm taking my nairobi foam wrap and brushing my edges back and i like to use the knee highs instead of like regular wig caps because they fit more snug and i don't know they're just easier to work with to me and easier to lay down so once you got your edges brushed back you want to pull your cap down make sure it's over your ears and i'm taking my got to be glue in the yellow bottle the spiking glue and laying my cap down because we're doing the ball cap method if i didn't mention it we're doing the ball cap method and i'm just taking that putting it a little bit in front of my hairline with the end of my rat tail comb and smoothing that out So at this point you should be looking something like this and now i'm taking these small scissors i had in a nail kit and i'm just cutting a hole where my ears are and i'm gonna pull my ear through now what this does is helps your cap lay down better around your ear tabs i know a lot of people have trouble with the cap lifting in that area when they do the ball cap method so if you do this method you shouldn't have that issue it should lay completely flat
and then you're just gonna blow dry that on cool until everything is dry nothing is sticky or nothing like that So now I'm taking my got to be blasting free spray and I'm spraying that around the ear area as well just to ensure that the cap does not lift in that area and make sure you get behind the ear too where the wig cap is so that part don't lift either. Now I'm taking my Morphe bronzer in the shade Blogger and I'm putting that all over my cap and I'm putting it on before I cut the cap off and I saw this in a Slay by Jordan video shout out to Slay by Jordan if you're not subscribed to him what are you doing go subscribe to his channel but he was saying that it's much easier to do it before you cut it so you don't have so much makeup to clean up and that makes so much sense you don't have all that makeup on your forehead when you cut the cap off you know. All right, so this is how you should be looking at this point. And now we're about to cut the cap off, all that excess cap. And we're taking the same scissors from earlier, and I just cut a slit down the middle and then a slit by both of my ears. And then we're gonna cut the rest off. And make sure you take your time with this. Don't cut yourself, don't cut your clients, please. Cause I got cut one time, and that was my first and last time ever getting a sew in by somebody else. And that's when I started doing my own hair. Cause that girl cut me, she cut my ear and act like she did in it. And she didn't cut me one time either. She cut me about two, three times. And I was like, oh no, I'm never doing this again. I started doing my own hair. I ain't let nobody touch my head since then. All right, so now we look absolutely fabulous. I mean, we really should just go out like this. Why not? But we're going to clean our skin with some alcohol, make sure we don't have any excess oils or makeup, residue, anything like that. And I'm just blow drying at the same time to make sure my cap doesn't lift while I do this. But yeah, just make sure your skin is clean so when we get ready to lay this wig down, then our lace will stick. So now I'm taking my Boho Skin Protect and we're gonna wipe our skin down with that too. Just to make sure our skin is protected from the glue. Some people have more sensitive skin than others, but we just wanna make sure we're not doing any damage to our skin. So I had already tinted my lace with the Boho Lace Tint in the shade Caramel. And right here, I'm just trying on the wig to make sure I cut off enough of that cap. Make sure the cap ain't sticking out the front of the lace, nothing like that. Everything looks good. And this hairline does come pre-plucked like they said. I didn't pluck the hairline at all, just the part. So everything looks good. So I'm gonna fold the lace back and get ready to glue it down. So I'm taking my Boho Active and just dotting that along the cap, right in front of where the cap stops or wherever you wanna, however far you wanna place your wig, that's where you're gonna put the glue at. But I put mine right in front of the cap. And you just need a thin layer and just go across the whole hairline. I just do one whole line. I don't do sections. And I'm just taking the back of my rat tail comb, smoothing that out flat and thin. And you're gonna wait for this to dry clear before you apply your next coat. And it doesn't take long for this to dry at all. This glue is really easy to work with, which is what I really like about it. Cause you don't have to, I know with some glues, you kind of have to time it before you do another layer or before you put the lace down. But with this, you just wait till it turns clear. And then you're gonna apply your next coat. And I did three layers of the boho. Also, another thing I noticed about this wig is it is very big head friendly. I have a huge head and I had plenty of room left in that wig, even with the adjustable strap. I'm not sure about the measurements on it because I didn't see any details on the measurements on the cap, but it's big head friendly. And 
then as you see i'm applying the last layer now you already saw me do the second layer and it dry clear and now we're doing the last one So once that last layer has dried clear, as you can see here, you're gonna go ahead, pull that lace down and stick it into that glue and press it in. And make sure you take your time with this, um, reposition it however you need to shift it around. Don't take too long because you don't want it to dry. But yeah, just do what you need to do. And I like to place mine a little bit in front of where I put the glue at. So it's gonna be a little bit of excess lace hanging over. I just don't like to clean up um glue and it's a lot harder to do that with boho because it's so strong but um yeah i place it a little bit in front of the glue and then i just cut off whatever excess lace is left and i'm just taking my comb and combing through the hair and pushing down on the lace at the same time and pressing that lace into that glue and right here i'm just cutting off a little bit of excess lace around my ear tabs so what i've learned that really melts the lace into your skin besides the bow hole you want to ensure it's like really melted i'm taking that same nairobi foam wrap that we used earlier to brush our edges back and you're going to put that all over the hairline don't worry about the lace lifting or nothing like that because we're going to tie it down and when you tie it down everything will stick back down like it's supposed to So right here, my camera died, but after I did this, I sprayed my hairline with the free spray very lightly, and then I tied it down with an elastic band, like an actual elastic band. That's what really melts it, and then you just let it dry. So now I'm cutting off the excess lace. I was saying earlier that I pull a little bit in front of the glue. Um, I'm just cutting that off right here. And I like this method too because you want as little lace as possible anyway. So pulling it a little bit in front of where you put the glue at and then just cutting off that excess kind of helps with that. So now I'm just spraying the lace with that same lace tint and trying to blend that with my skin. I saw this in can't remember whose video I saw it in, but they were saying to spray the hairline after you glue it too, even though you've already tinted it before up underneath, but this helps um, blend it with your skin as well. And then I'm just applying some more foam wrap and tying it back down. So after about 10 minutes of letting it dry, I took the elastic band off and I'm just doing some quick baby hairs right here with some excess foam wrap that was already on the brush. And this is how everything turned out. And then I just went ahead and styled off camera because I already recorded myself in the hair dyeing video, me wand curling. But that's all I did was just threw some wand curls in it. But this is where the hair stops at on me and this is it in the back too. Um, I'm 5'3", like I said, it's 22 inches. But yeah, guys, if you want a more detailed video on how I style my hair, I can do that. Just let me know. But that's it for this install video. That's how I melt my lace. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.